In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles with you here on a, I don't know, what is today, Wednesday? I'm going to check here, hold on a minute. Oh yeah, there's Wednesday. <laughs> well, here we have um, Papa Francisco promoting himself as the savior of the world. Listen to this. Pope Francis called on global financial leaders and economists to end economic inequality Wednesday, saying that modern resources make ending global poverty possible and a responsibility. Of course, now he's going to do all this without Jesus Christ, you know. A rich world and a vibrant economy can and should end poverty, Pope Francis said February 5th. The Pope made an unscheduled appearance at a Vatican conference on new forms of solidarity organized on the premise that an outdated financial structure is endangering our planet and dividing our societies. <laughs> you who have kindly gathered here are the financial leaders and economic specialists of the world, Francis said. You know firsthand what are the injustices of our current global economy or the injustices of each country. Let's work together to end these injustices. Injustices. Well, isn't he just amazing? You know, he's going to do all this with Jesus Christ. And, you know, this is all very appealing to the secular world. You know, to think that um, humanity can solve these problems without Jesus Christ, who says in the gospel that the poor will always be with you. But, you know, that makes no difference to Papa Francisco. He's uh, moving right ahead here. He's going to rally the world behind him, and um, he's going to correct all these problems. And you know what? I believe God will allow him to get so far with this. Um, if uh, if my thinking about who exactly he is, which I believe him to be the false prophet who um, paves the way for the Antichrist, who is a secular person, uh, who they're, they're, they're going to love the Antichrist even more than this than Papa Francisco here. Well, he is just amazing, you know, and people, uh, people are sucking it up. Uh, they just love this stuff, you know. Um, you know, that not, not only, you know, um, the financial structure, but the, um, you know, health care for everyone, jobs for everyone, and all this is being done. There's not one mention in this whole article about doing this through Jesus Christ. It's absolutely amazing, and how do you stop this? Um, you, you just can't. You can't stop it. Uh, our prayers and our sacrifices and fastings can um, mitigate it to a point. Um, but as far as stopping it, um, you know, you're trying to stop a, you know, a 10-ton truck um, coming right at you. And, you know, you have nowhere to run. Um, but, you know, um, you know, we have hope. And, you know, God's always in control. Let's remember that. He's allowing all this. And believe me, it's going to get, you know, I mean, if you think that the, um, that something is going to happen to turn all this around, um, you know, I think you're only kidding yourself because things are going to get much worse. Um, for sure, they're going to get much worse. And um, that's not a lot to look forward to, but at the same time, in our, 
you know, and our faith is going to be tested and our trust in God is going to be tested. Um, you know, and, you know, it's, I mean, I just have a, like a little channel here, but, you know, we're still a group of people and there are many of these kinds of groups, whether they, uh, whatever country they are, they're in, uh, wherever they're at, um, you know, they could be prayer groups and, you know, other channels and, you know, all different sorts of things, you know. I mean, we're all united in the heart, in the heart of Christ and in Mary's heart. So uh, I know we don't really interact and we all feel like we're um, isolated. And that's why I think people on the channel, people come to the channel and if they, um, you know, because they, they sort of found a home, a home um, of people who think the same. And of course, now this is what's behind um, um, the church militant resistance is to find people in your area um, <clears throat> uh, that you can meet with um, people that think the same as you do, um, at least for the most part, you know, at least on the major issues. And, um, you know, to um, support each other and to you know, be proactive and to pray together and to form friendships because we're going to need these. You know, we can't, each of us can't stand alone by ourselves to go through this. We, we need support. And, um, you know, well, I might as well just continue here for a little bit. <clears throat> so, um, Church Militant sent me a, um, a flyer, uh, a brochure. So, uh, as soon as I looked at this brochure, I thought, oh boy, is this ugly. Well, I, I'm not even, you know, going to explain to you, um, you know, what it looked like. It just struck me as this is terrible. So, I took the time to make a, a flyer or a brochure myself, and I sent it to them. And, um, you know, it was, you know, much more cheerful. It had some holy pictures on it. I didn't change any of the words. I used exactly the same words as they use. Well, this was more than two weeks ago, and I haven't heard anything back from them. So I'm waiting to hear from them um, about, um, about what to, you know, wh whether they accept it or, you know, they're going to come up with their version of it or whatever. And then um, uh, after that's done, I'm going to um, print it. And I'm going to print it because somebody just sent me $500. Um, and I can have these printed for about $0.10 cents each, I believe, uh, if I catch a sale. Um, this is a, a, a online printing firm that I've used many times in the past. I've had tens of thousands of things printed from them, and they do beautiful work. They're sort of like the Walmart of printers online, and they're all over the world. So I'm going to have, you know, hopefully, uh, if I can catch a, a sale, sometimes they even have 50% off. I, I can get like uh, 10,000 brochures for 500 bucks or maybe 700 or something. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, God will provide the money. So, um, and then, you know, it's a matter of, uh, I have the email addresses of all the people in the resistance in the Archdiocese of Chicago. So I'm going to contact them and offer them uh, the brochures for like 10 cents each, 12 cents each, whatever it comes out to be. Um, and then, um, you know, the whole idea is to encourage people to go out into, with a small group, let's say, um, you know, at least two people, you know, hopefully three or four. And, um, you know, uh, spend a Sunday morning in a parish in their, um, you know, area, whether it's the north side of Chicago, the south side, the west side. There is no east side because the east side is Lake Michigan. <laughs> okay, so or you know, in, you know, in, in the in the city itself, you know, there is more than uh, two hundred 
parishes in the city of Chicago. So there's an awful lot, you know, and, and then spend the time um, after mass, you know, ask people if they take a brochure and read it and get more people in the resistance, build up the local resistance groups, uh, whether it be on the north side, because people on the north side would go to the churches on the north side, so they'd be getting people um, in their geographical area so they could have meetings and prayer groups and whatever. You know, I find this very exciting, and this is really, really something. God didn't have this man send me this money, um, you know, for no reason. Uh, and I believe this is what, what what's, uh, you know, what's happening here, uh, at least in Chicago to start with. And I hope it goes nationwide. I mean, we need people getting out there. You know, I mean, it's good to pray and fast and, you know, but the, being proactive, you know, to getting out there and fighting with people who believe in what you believe in and believe that we need to, you know, put up a, you know, put up a fight here. You know, we may not win. I mean, God's going to win in the end. I mean, we're not going to, you know, change the church and, in what you call, uh, you know, in the United States, you know, but we can help an awful lot of people, educate people, and bring other people into the resistance so that they have a home, a spiritual home, where they can go to and feel comfortable and be happy that they're with people who think the same as they do and feel the same, uh, the same as they do. And it's really a wonderful thing, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really, um, I'm get, becoming impatient with uh, this uh, person at Church Militant, who is the, you know, the head of the resistance, not only, you know, Chicago, but of all the resistance groups in the United States. Um, I've talked to him several times in email, and um, I, re I really want to, like, you know, write them an email and say, come on, what, what's happening? Come on, let's get this together, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but I, I just need to be patient here. And I'm really so happy with my computer. It's like really wonderful, and this is just great. And um, all right, so I, I've really done a lot of talking here. I don't even know what I'm up to here. But I wanted to give you this update anyway to... Uh, let you know what was going on, um, you know, so uh, that, that gives you some information. And then once I get the, uh, the final brochure, uh, I'm going to put it on my website and I'll give you a link and you could look at the brochure. And, um, you know, if you want to buy some um, or at least join the resistance or, you know, see what the brochure says, um, I'm happy to, um, you know, make the trips to the post office with boxes of brochures. Um, you know, in Chicago, um, you know, I know not everyone goes to mass. Pro I think it's around 20% in this archdiocese. Um, but there is like 430,000 baptized Catholics in the archdiocese of Chicago. So, you know, even if there's, you know, 20% of those that go to Mass, um, you know, that's still 75, 85,000 people that go to Mass every Sunday. So, you know, to order 10,000 brochures at one time, you know, hopefully that'll have to be done several times. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. All right, so we need to start thinking about being proactive and working uh, against all this heresy and apostasy in the church and educating people and rounding, physically rounding, you know, rounding them up, you know, like you go out and you find the lost sheep, you know, that's what Christ does. Well, that's what we're being called to do. We need to go out and, um, you know, offer people um, an opportunity um, to come uh, to come and be with us uh, physically, to talk to on the phone, to email, to for us to become part of each other's lives. And this is the strength 
that I believe Christ is calling us to. Um, this is the strength we need, not only from him, but from each other. And I believe he wants this very much. And I'm gonna work my butt off trying to get this to happen here in Chicago. Um, and I hope other people are doing it in other places. Um, but I'm sure gonna do it here. As, well, I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, okay, well, we'll talk to you again later. Bye.